Hi, this is Chris with CodeChris.com, and thank you for clicking on the video. There's a lot of pros, and you don't need me to tell you all the positive parts, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a reality check in regards to some of the cons. Benefits. Benefits are another thing that you just don't get when you work for yourself. You're going to have to pay for your health insurance uh, probably more than you would have to pay if you're in, you're working for somebody else and they're help paying a portion of it. The health insurance that you can get not working for yourself can sometimes be a little bit better in regards to coverage area, what you can afford, and all that stuff. Deductibles, all that funness, aside from dental, aside from medical, disability, all of that. You also have things like your 401k, uh, or a Roth matching program where they'll match whatever your contribution is. Uh, those are all things that really help for retirement because ultimately at some point you're going to have to retire or at least that should be your goal to get to a point where you retire or don't have to work but choose to work. By the way, the taxes, they're all on you. So make sure you do a decent job of, of becoming an accountant. Put on your accounting hat. Now you're an accountant. So put on that hat. Then make sure that you figure out all the taxes throughout the year. Make sure you do payments throughout the year. If you have to do those, uh, add another company for another person. Now just don't go right into it. Just don't be like, all right, my side hustle, that's my full-time thing. That's where I'm going 100%. It, it kind of depends on your situation. So I have a few different videos talking about boot camps, teaching yourself, college, whatever the case is. A lot of it comes down to where you are, right? So whatever your situation is, because people have bills to pay, you may or may not be able to go straight into working for yourself, right? You might have to take a full-time job on for a little bit, set things up in the background for your business. Once again, it kind of depends if you're doing a service or a product. The advantage of a product is you can make that on your side time on your as your side hustle and then at a certain point uh, the revenue from your product is being generated often enough you're producing enough products that that income can offset your full-time job or your part-time job or your whatever job right and that that's the, it's the easier one but if you're doing a service if you're producing animations if you're doing video edits if you're doing websites if you're doing software whatever the case is it's a little bit different right because now you're providing a service and really what it comes down to is getting on that first client while working because you, you need income uh, then getting two clients then three then four then whatever it is that mathematically starts to push you off to a point where you can't you can't have these two full-time jobs, right? And it just makes economic sense to start switching over all your efforts into one of these. For me, uh, what I would I, I did is uh, it was full-time learn coding. It was a very, very small portion of all my free time. Or sorry, a big portion of my free time, very little free time. And then it takes up more and more and more. And then I can switch to something else. Then I get a full-time job a little bit similar working, learning some more code in the background, and then I switch it again. And now I am working in the field. So that actually helps out a lot with the learning process because now I learn at minimum eight hours a day for my full-time job. And then I go home and I learn a little bit more, right? And eventually it'll get to the point where the little bit more I'm learning can get uh, can take up more of my time. And eventually it occupies all my time in regards to what I can do with all this new knowledge, all these new skill sets, right? How long does that take? I don't know. Let's, let's see where this video stands in, in, in a year or two. But don't freak out. Don't think that you always need to be networking. You always need to be, you know, you do gotta always be that guy who's like, oh yeah, I'm just like always in sales mode. Just everybody I meet is a potential client, blah, 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 blah. At a certain point, you will have built enough business. You will have gotten enough clients. You will have done enough networking that in turn, you'll start to um, be, be getting referrals and there'll be more inbound traffic towards you. and. With the way things are changing now, especially specifically more with the internet, reputation is a lot. If you can set up your reputation, a strong reputation, it's easier for you to get that next contact and also to get more inbound traffic to you. Ultimately, that's the goal. If you can just get constant inbound traffic, then you really have to do ultimately a little bit less each time uh, pursuing additional resources, additional people, and they, they can find you much easier. The portion of why I'm doing these videos is ultimately to start to establish a background, to start to establish a, a web presence uh, for myself. So that in the future, if you type in, you know, uh, Chris Marlowe, code Chris M, and you'll be able to see a little bit about me, get some transparency, what's this guy like, what does he talk like, blah, 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 blah. Working for yourself, working for yourself, it, it isn't all super easy, but it is 
a great thing. And if you are watching this video and you were able to stick through this entire thing, uh, thank you very much, all four subscribers who are currently watching. And uh, you will definitely be very, very happy, but it's, it's going to be a tough journey. It's going to be an arduous journey. Don't give up, but also please bear in mind that you know, at the end of the day, you're not gonna be able to quit this. You've you've gotten this far. You've you've watched the video. It's done. It's solidified. And uh, you know, welcome welcome to the uh, entrepreneurial side of things. And uh, let me know how the progress is going. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.